Would you like a side of chlorine gas with that? A New Zealand supermarket recently had its AI meal planner cheerfully suggested mixing bleach and vinegar. The chlorine gas concoction was just one of many alarming recipes it created when customers entered random household items. Coming up, we'll explore this bad AI mishap and other top stories in artificial intelligence this week. Welcome back to This Week in AI. If you're new here, this is our weekly update on all the news in and around artificial intelligence as it changes the world as we know it. As ever, this week has been full of news and excitement. This week, we've got 10 top news stories for you, ranging from new large language models to AI hacking by listening to your typing. As always, timestamps are in the description if you want to skip to a specific story. Your computer password could be at risk from AI's super hearing. Researchers developed a machine learning system that can identify keystrokes just by their sounds. It achieved over 90% accuracy in deciphering what was typed based on audio recordings. The study shows risks arising as video calls and intelligent devices with microphones become ubiquitous. Laptops are now incredibly vulnerable in public places, but similar acoustic eavesdropping could target any keyboard. Experts advise using biometric passwords where possible and enabling two-factor authentication. Failing that, mixing upper and lowercase letters with numbers thwarts AI deciphering. The password study is another sign of AI's expanding capabilities through pattern recognition. The US is restricting investments in Chinese AI and quantum computing to limit technological aid to China. President Biden ordered new rules enabling limits on investments in sectors like semiconductors. The focus is curtailing China's military growth by cutting off American funding sources. While not impacting current investments, the directive signals escalating tech tensions between the superpowers. China strongly opposes the US investment restrictions, which it says will disrupt economic cooperation. But America cites national security risks from advancing Chinese technologies. The investment limits specifically target private equity, venture capital, and joint ventures. While details remain unclear, it's expected certain deals may be exempted. But the policy marks a major shift toward technology decoupling between the US and China. It shows both nations view AI supremacy as a core economic and defense priority. Their tech race will likely continue to heat up as strategic rivalry grows. The UK government is advancing healthcare AI by investing £13 million in new research. The funding will support 22 projects exploring innovations like tumor removing surgical robots. Other focuses include predictive analysis and early diagnosis. The initiative demonstrates confidence that AI can transform patient outcomes through earlier detection effective treatments, and faster recovery. One major project aims to develop real-time assisted decision-making to improve surgical results. Healthcare AI could revolutionize the NHS, but responsible development is critical, including protocols for using patient data. While promising, AI also risks automating biases. Ongoing research must ensure AI promotes health equity. The UK is seizing opportunities from AI while trying to grasp the challenges. But more debates are needed on governance as healthcare becomes data-driven. Patient well-being should remain the top priority as AI reshapes medicine. A New Zealand supermarket's AI meal planner bot created dangerous chemical recipes when customers entered random household items. Pack and Save's Savy Meal Bot suggested deadly mixes like chlorine gas and ant poison sandwiches. While meant to creatively use leftovers during rising costs, the unsupervised AI produced unappealing and unsafe meals. The ridiculousness and dangerous nature of this recipe being included highlights the risks of AI training without human oversight. Pack and Save say it's refining bot controls for safety. Whether any of their customers will be eating lead poison dinners in the future remains to be seen. But the incident shows real-world harms possible from AI unleashed prematurely. Just because AI can produce something doesn't mean it should. AI is creating medical antibodies more efficiently than humans UK company LabGenius uses robots and AI to find new antibodies. Their system tries combinations humans wouldn't think of and tests them with little supervision. The AI looks for the best antibodies without human limitations. LabGenius aims for treatments with fewer side effects and better disease targeting. While AI can find surprising solutions, it also brings up data rights issues and potential biases. However, AI antibodies could lead to better patient results. To get the most from AI, we must address data issues and biases. Using AI responsibly means thinking about its impact on society, not just its tech capabilities. AI startup Stable Diffusion is expanding beyond text and images into code generation. It unveiled Stable Code, 
an AI system for generating programming languages. StableCode leverages the big code dataset and adds filtering for quality. It currently supports Python, Go, Java, and more. A key advantage is its long 16,000 token context window. This lets it understand larger, complex code bases for specialized prompts. Rather than focus on recency like natural language models, stable code weights all code history equally. This is better suited for software with non-linear logic. Stable code aims to help anyone fix problems by writing programs and democratizing coding like Stable Diffusion did for R. But it raises familiar issues like dataset biases and misuse potentials. NVIDIA unveiled a powerful new AI chip, the GH200, to bolster its market dominance. The GPU giant currently leads AI hardware with over 80% market share. The new chip pairs NVIDIA's top GPU with gobs of cutting-edge memory. This enables giant AI models to run on single systems for blazing fast inference. NVIDIA says GH200 will significantly lower the costs of large language models like ChatGPT. The chip is tailored for scale-outs on massive data center servers. NVIDIA's rivals, like AMD and Amazon, are also vying for the AI hardware space. But NVIDIA's GPU speciality gives it an edge with GPU-reliant AI models. The GH200 cements NVIDIA's ambitions to be the go-to for AI processing. Yet, as AI proliferates, computing demands will likely outpace suppliers. NVIDIA's progress also raises concerns about centralized control over enabling technologies. AI advancements now depend heavily on NVIDIA's capabilities and priorities. Anthropic launched Claude 2 to rival ChatGPT and Bing. The AI chatbot has the largest context of any chatbot, almost 75,000 words. For example, this means it can summarize novel-length text quickly. One of the first chatbots that puts safety first, it uses constitutional AI principles to make safety judgments. The principles derive from documents like the UN Declaration of Human Rights. Claude 2 is trained to choose responses supporting freedom, equality, and brotherhood. Anthropic likens this to Isaac Asimov's fictional robot laws. The approach appears promising for safer AI alignment. However, Claude 2 still makes factual errors indicating limitations. Powerful autoregressive models like Claude 2 raise concerns about data sourcing and misinformation. Constitutional AI principles offer a framework for social responsibility, but human oversight is still essential for greater adoption of AI in society. Last week, OpenAI introduced GPT Bot, a web crawler to improve AI models like ChatGPT. It scours the internet while supposedly avoiding prohibited sources. Website owners can restrict their access through standard processes. GPT Bot provides transparency, identifying itself for blocking. OpenAI says the data will enhance accuracy, capabilities and safety, but legal and ethical debates are arising. Critics argue scraping websites has unclear benefits versus potential copyright violations. How GPT Bot handles licensed material also raises concerns. Some experts warn that crawler-generated data could also degrade models. The proprietary use of scraped content to profit remains contentious. Yet, OpenAI argues it has the right to freely use public data like individual learning. Overall, GPT Bot opens complex issues around content ownership and usage rights in AI training. Even following robots DoiTeXT, transparency is lacking on how data is applied in models. Rapid AI progress continues to outpace governance. And that concludes our AI news for this week. If you want to stay completely up to date in the world of AI, subscribe, whack that notification bell, and you'll never miss any AI-related news in this insanely fast-paced world. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.